Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Esther Gidu Ewart in Washington. Malawi is distributing personal security alarms to people with albinism. Authorities hope the alarms will prevent deadly attacks on albinos by people who believe their body parts have magical powers. But the alarms only have a limited range, raising doubts about their effectiveness. Lamek Masina reports from Lilongwe. Uvenda Jibirulaston was nearly abducted in March by three men pretending to be Malawi police officers. The men claimed to be searching houses of villagers suspected of keeping albino body parts which are used across East Africa for black magic. Last one was saved when the men failed to produce identity cards and villagers handed them over to the real police. I realized that I can be killed any day because of the way those people came. I was extremely terrified and I realized that I am being stalked. So since that time, I still live in fear. Abinos are targeted in ritual killings by people who believe their body parts bring good luck, power and wealth. Police say at least 25 albinos have been killed in Malawi since 2014, and albino graves are often robbed, not of jewelry, but of bodies. Malawi authorities this year reacted to public pressure by distributing mobile personal security alarms to the country's estimated 10,000 albinos to help stop the attacks. As government, we are trying to create uh, a conducive environment for the persons with albinism. Uh, that's why we are distributing security gadgets for them to be protected uh, and for them to be safe in their communities. Malawi's albinos initially refused the alarms when first offered in May because authorities stamped them as being a gift from President Peter Mutalika. The alarm sound is activated when the wearer pulls a safety pin, but it can only be heard within a range of about 100 meters. You can agree with me that it's not that sound that can uh, so alarming that people can say there is something happening. And it is not our, in our tradition as Malawians in many cases that when we hear the sound or the alarm, uh, people start rushing to see what is happening over there. So Malawi police and local leaders are educating people to react to any alarms. Laston says he feels a little safer with the alarm on, but the limited range deters him from traveling to earn money, so he is struggling to put food on the table. Lamek Masina for VOA News, Lilongwe.